here go Bahrain victorious who have had so much success in recent weeks. They won Milano San Remo, they won Flesh Vallon with Mohoric and Turns. Dylan Turns won again at the Tour de Romandie a few days ago. Can Phil Bauhaus get another World Tour win? Can he get his first victory at Eschborn Frankfurt? The director's car has just pulled up at the finish line. This is it now. Phil Bauhaus in second wheel. Biniam Gamay is right up there. He's going to lead out Alexander Kristoff. Gamay comes round the final corner. Kristoff on the left-hand side, number 21. They've also got Dan McClay up there for Arkea. For Kofidis, sorry. No, for Arkea, Samstick, sorry. But it's being led out here. Here's Biniam Gamay. Biniam Gamay is on the left-hand side. Gaviri on his wheel. Is it going to be Alexander Kristoff for another win? Here go Bora Hansko now. Bora Hansko leading out with Danny Van Poppel. Here goes Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett to the line. Sam Bennett. It's going to be Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett for his first win of 2022. Here comes Kristoff. Sam Bennett takes the win at Eschborn Frankfurt. Bennett is back. That was brilliant from Bora Hansgrohe. They worked hard all day on the front and they deserve to get the win. Brilliant from Bennett. Danny Van Poppel, take a bow. What a lead out that was as well from the Dutchman. Sam Bennett had been saying that a big win was coming. Something was around the corner. They just had to get it right. He'd been so full of praise for the lead out since the start of the season. They built this lead out for him in the replay. Look at that phenomenal work there by Danny Van Poppel. And then Bennett just had to finish it off. He had so much power. Gaviria was coming. I mean, Van Poppel must have ended up in the top five himself here. Gaviria, Gaviria and Christoph take second and third. I'm not sure in which order. And then it was Bauhaus. The Asper Philipson was maybe eighth or ninth in the end. Just waiting for confirmation of the top 10 results. It was a powerful sprint from Christoph, but look, Danny Van Poppel knew it. And so too did Sam Bennett. That is a big, big moment for the Irishman. That is the start of a new chapter for him. Congratulated by Fernando Gaviria. Fair play as always between these top, top sportsmen. Here we get a chance to see it from a little bit further out. So at this point, you had Gamay with Christoph on his wheel. It was being led out by Bahrain victorious Fred Wright at the front, but he'd actually lost Phil Bauhaus rubbing shoulders there with Consone. Then they came, the men in green. Just a little nudge of the shoulder from Van Poppel to say, follow me. And just look at the power from Danny Van Poppel. And we know what a talented sprinter he is in his own right, having come over from Antemarche to join the team this year. Then Bennett went, and there was no living with him. Christoph just trying to get to second place, but it was Gaviria second. Christoph third, Phil Bauhaus in fourth. And a wonderful effort from Bora Hansgrohe. A first victory here for Sam Bennett. And a first victory at this race for Ireland as well. And again, just like earlier, whenever I say Ireland, I always seem to need an Irish axe for some strange reason. But uh, a wonderful, wonderful win for the 31-year-old. And that will be of enormous relief to him and to his team. And it promises some interesting days ahead later in the season at the Tour de France, because we know he'll be going back to the Tour de France, having missed last year's race at Sam Bennett. And a picture paints a thousand words, hugs all round, Mark O'Halla, Niels Pollitt, and Sam Bennett, the winner of Eschborn Frankfurt 2022. I look very much forward to hearing what he has to say in his post-race interview in a few moments' time. Just run you through the top ten as well. So Bennett from Gaviria and Christoph, yet another podium for the Norwegian, third for the second year running. Bauhaus van Poppel as the lead out man in fifth. Then Ed Turns, what a remarkable effort that was after being in the breakaway. Arno de Lee was up there in seventh. Consone and Alleghe, the two Cofferdis sprinters, eighth and ninth.